Hi guys, Robbie 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode, we're going to Le Mans next for the next round. Hopefully it will be a dry race, 9 laps. Actually I'm going to lower the laps to 6 laps, 25% now. Um, just so that it gives me more time to, to record and takes less time to edit and to actually export and upload because it's taking ages at the moment. So it is going to be a dry race, thank god for that. So. Feeling all right around here. Um, I'm hoping we can get a, uh, a decent result. Qualifying should be okay, I think. Okay, into the first corner. Well, turn three, actually. The first real corner, though. So, down the hill we go. 0.3 under the time, it's not telling me what the time is on screen, so we're just going to have to keep pushing and see what ends up happening. So through museum. Yeah, I'm so glad we're going to have a, uh, a dry race after having two back-to-back -back wet track races. They, uh, they're pretty difficult, but... Um, Ultimately, we, we got some good results with a second and a first place, so happy with that. Happy with how the championship's going at the moment. And yeah, back in dry conditions. So we're getting towards the end of this lap, four tenths under the, uh, the, the time at the moment. We just still have no idea what the time actually is. couple of corners run to the line what's it gonna be 35 8 half a second under is it gonna stick though that's the main thing pole position from Baldazari and Luti that is the front row half a second quicker than anyone else so then this is looking pretty good for the race um, 89 soft front and a medium rear I think full tank of fuel let's do it okay Baldazari's gone for a soft rear that's a bit of a ballsy move but to be fair the, the track temperature was quite low but I just don't think the soft is going to last All right, come on come on let's get a good start here we go. Get down. There we go. <laughs> Front end would not want to go down. But we are remaining in the lead at the moment. Run up towards turn three into the chicane. A little bit hot on the entrance. Out we come. Careful with the rear. Okay, so we've got a bit of a, uh, a lead at the moment. 0.6 of a second. Adazari is still in second place, so he got a pretty good start and managed to stay where he is. So run down to garage there, which is a horrible corner on the front end. Oh, especially when you do stuff like that. Oh, come on. Luckily we didn't uh, get a penalty from that. So I think they've actually closed back in slightly. Okay, through the S's. Let's see what the split is. 0.2 of a second from Baldazari. So yeah, we've got a bugger all lead at the moment. And after here we go to Magello. Through the last couple of corners. That is one lap done and dusted. On to lap two. Half a second at the moment. Okay. Towards the chicane again. Keep it going. Fine. 
What's the gap to Baldazari now? 0.4. So the gap's opened up a tiny bit. But not by much. Actually, I think he's... Yeah, he is closing back in. I've gone very wide as well. Yeah, I can hear him. I can hear him. Down towards garage there. That was better this time. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, hang on. I think I may have picked up a little bit of damage from that. Oh dear. Oh, now we're down a third. Yeah, it feels like I've got some sort of damage at the moment. They're all coming through. Out the way. That is not good. Sometimes when you just have a little bit of damage, I've had it happen to me in uh, FP3 before where I've had a little crash. Or even uh, just a little collision with someone. It doesn't actually come up saying that you've damaged your bike, but when you go back into the pit, it says your bike is damaged and it takes about like three and a half minutes to repair. Something doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel as uh, fast as it did the uh, the lap before. I know that I've see put my power mapping back up to two now. But yeah, something doesn't feel right. I think Baldazari may have given us a small amount of damage, which is affecting our performance a little bit. That's not good. That is not good. I mean, Baldazari is just pissing off into the distance. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him back up. Now I'm worried about if anyone else does exactly the same move. If we get hit again, we're probably going to... Well, we will end up getting more damage and uh, our bike's performance will go down even more. So, I'm going to have to go careful. But I'm going to try my best to uh, see if we can go with Luti. Yeah, I'm not getting the drive out of the corners that I was uh, a couple of laps ago. Something is definitely not right. right I'm going to try and cling on to Luti. If I can get past him and get second place, I'll be happy with that. But, yeah, trying to get the drive out the corners is not really uh, working at the moment. 36-0 for Baldessari, 36-8 for me. Baldessari really is just going away now. And I know he's got the soft rear tyre on as well. So, not really the race I wanted to uh, to happen, but we're right on Looty now. Can I sneak up the inside? Nope. So, can't get past Looty at the moment. Oh, slide in the rear. That's not helping. It's not helping anyone. Okay, run down to garage vet. We've only got 0.3 over uh, Bastianini in fourth. The rear tyre is really not doing well. Considering we've gone for the medium as well. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. I can get close to Looty, but I can't find any sort of way past. The rear is letting go quite badly now. Still got two laps to go. I've got Bastianini right behind me. A load of uh, riders right behind me. So it's not looking good at the moment. Baldazari 35.8. 36.4 from me. Oh, Bezeki, 35.6. So Bezeki, he's a bit further down, but he's just at the fast lap of race. He may come past. He may not. All I know, I'm going to really struggle to get on the podium here. The bike is all over the place. The rear is not liking the 
coming out of the corners anymore. I really thought the, the medium would have lasted a bit longer than this. Come on, please, 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 just, no, just please grip. Please, just, just give me some drive. I think we're about to be mugged. I think we're going to get mugged. I can hear him. Yep, yeah, through he comes. Oh. Just, uh, just move me over. That's fine. I'm trying to get the run out, but yeah, it's, it's not happening. Marini is through into third. That is not good. We're off the podium. The right-hand side of the tie is completely cooked. We've got one lap to go. Come on, just... Nah, it's not going to happen. I don't think I'm going to be able to get back on the podium on the final lap. Oh, we might lose another place. We might lose another place. Whoever's behind me is very, very close into the chicane. Oh, someone's down. Siren is down. Oh, dear. Bezeki. He is behind me. So I am between the two VR46 riders, which uh, is not a good place to be. I mean, Bezeki set the fastest lap a few laps ago. Come on, just behave yourself. Well, Badazar is definitely going to win. He's going to win by quite a big margin. So our lead in the championship, because Baldessari is in second, our lead in the championship is going to take a bit of a knock. He's going to take a nice little chunk out of my lead. And Marini's up to second now. I'm kind of closing back in on him, but it's going to be too little too late. We've got two corners to go. It is going to be a fourth position, which I guess isn't the end of the world. But that rear tyre was absolutely cooked by the end. Yeah. Not what I wanted, but never mind. Not the end of the world. There we go. Fourth place. What's that done to the championship? 11 points it's brought it down to. 28 in the team championship now. Don't even get a cutscene for uh, going back in the garage or anything for not getting on the podium. Okay. So, the... Uh... Oh, hang on. Yeah, we'll have uh, Oliver. We'll have him. I don't know what the music's doing. So, still got a few weeks left on the... Uh... The upgrades off to Magello. Let's uh, try and get a good result from here. Dry race again. So just gone quickest with a 150.9, but I can go a little bit quicker. Try and uh, improve my time even more. The bike's feeling a bit better around here. I mean, it didn't feel too bad at all around Le Mans. It was just during the race. When uh, we had contact with Baldessari, something did not feel right after that. And then the rear tyre just completely destroyed itself. So, yeah, we were uh, in trouble at Le Mans. going to try and make amends around here. Oh, Marini's gone quickest, 49.6. We're only a tenth off of that time at the moment. At least it's telling me what the time is this time. 
How many times can I say time in a sentence? Too many. Yeah, felt good in FP3 around here, despite the fact it was uh, raining. Through the S's. Oh, 0.3 off. Might not be pole position this one, but hopefully we can get at least on the front two rows. Okay, run to the line. See what we can do. Please be at least the front two rows. That'd be nice. 49.8. So that is their second place. That's good. That'll do. So starting in second place. Just a tenth behind Marini. That's fine. Okay. I'm not taking any prisoners this time. Medium front. Hard rear. Full tank of fuel. I don't want a repeat of Le Mans with our rear tie going off. A few of the others gone for a hard rear as well. Okay. Let's try and get a good start. And then uh, get into the lead. Like I said, no prisoners this time. Here we go. Magello. Get away from them if I can. Down the turn one. We've got a little gap already. Oh, that's... Bezeki's down. Bezeki is down. Simone Corsi. A load of them were down at turn one, actually. I just saw loads of dots down at turn one on the minimap. So, quite a few of them down at turn one. What's our lead at the moment? Half a second over Marini. fine with me as long as it's not Baldazari. we need to get a few people in between myself and Baldazari, even though I've just seen that he's in third at the moment yeah I'm not going to let up at all through this race I'm just going to go as quick as I can for all the five laps 0.7 so the gap's gone up a little bit I think I, I actually feel a bit more consistent around here than I did at Le Mans. So that's definitely going to play into our hands. Right, through the S's, come on. So point six. At the moment, we'll see what it is across the start finish line. So, coming out the final corner, spinning up the rear a little bit, having a little slide, but uh, not too bad. Okay, the gap is 0.9. So, I'll be saving power mapping to for that straight. A very long straight. Sounds like they're closing in a little bit. What's the gap? 0.8. So they have closed in a tiny bit, not much, but they've still closed in nonetheless. Try and just keep pushing. Stop them coming through. Alright, careful through Arabiata 2. Because the rear does like to come round through that. Gap is over a second, I just saw. But yeah, feeling much better around here. Much more confident, much more consistent. Not going to be playing silly buggers with anyone around here. 
Can't stop Baldessari winning his home race, that's for sure. Okay, on to the start finish straight. We we I think we get a better run out the final corner. Rear tire seems like it's lasting a bit longer, the hard rear tire. It's not overheating. 150.2 fastest lap of the race. So I think the rear tire will actually survive this race, which I'm happy about. I didn't like Le Monde very much, that's for sure. One point three over Marini at the moment still, so Marini sent in second place. He's got a tiny gap over third place. I think he's still Baldazari. We'll have a look when we go over the line in a minute. So get this lap done, and we've got two more laps to go. One and a half second lead. It's looking good at the moment. I don't want to get too complacent because otherwise uh, we might end up making a mistake or they might end up catching me, I don't know. But a win over our rivals will uh, definitely be more than welcome. Through Biondetti and towards the final corner. 1.2, they've closed it down a little bit. Through the final corner. Get the run out. Down the straight we go. So 150.1, fastest lap of race again. Anyone go quicker? No, I didn't think so. I don't think they did. So this is the penultimate lap of the race. Bezeki not quite in the points yet, but he is getting there. He's in 18th place, just ahead of Joe Roberts. I'm going to have to watch out for my front tyre. The right-hand side is... It's getting there. It is wearing out, so we have to watch out for that. I think Marini is going to be pretty uh, safe for second place. Which is good for me, because that is going to be one person in between me and Baldazari. So up towards Arabiata 2. Just losing a little bit of grip on the right hand side of the tyre at the, uh, the rear. But it's not too bad at all. It's manageable, that's for sure. Just going to hold on for one more lap. Has the gap come down? I think it might have. 1.3 it has, okay. Okay, right, one lap to go. I said I wasn't going to mess about with this one or take any prisoners. That's exactly what I'm doing. We're not taking any prisoners whatsoever. One lap to go. One and a half second lead. I think we're pretty safe. We've got to do is maintain our pace and uh, we will end up winning. We've got about a lap's worth of fuel remaining. So that should be fine. Ooh, that was nearly in the dirt there. That would have probably been a crash. Careful. That was fine. Careful through Arabiata 2. 
Yeah, that was fine. No major issues so far. Bike still feels good, actually. Okay, through turn 12. We're nearly there. We are nearly there. to deny the Italo Italians a home victory. One and a half second lead over Marini. Into the final corner. And run to the line. Oh, I tell you what, look at our fuel. It's gone red. 0 0.2. 0 0.1. Yes, we made it. <laughs> that was so close on fuel there. Very close. Fastest lap the race went to us. Only just though. But yeah. Set out to win that one. Four of them not even finishing. One of them being looty. Well, there we go. That was a good win. 20 points is our lead now. So that's gone back up. Still not a whole race wins worth at the moment. 24 points behind uh, the VR46 team. But yeah. Back in Park Fermi this time. So ultimately, over those two rounds, we, we lost points, but not many. We can be happy with that. Catalonia will be next. Hopefully, we'll have another good race there. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Sweet. So, back to the menus. We've got quite a lot of credits at the moment, so that's good. Got a lot going on. Reputation has gone up a lot as well. So that is good. More credits for us. And to be fair, I only done the quick lap simulation anyway, so... Right. Oh, we've got a load of notifications on the contract search. Official teams. Okay. I've oh, still got some there. Where are the others? They Moto 2? Nope. Oh, they're on Moto GP. Okay. Okay. Right, that's fine. Uh, nah, we'll keep it as it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.